The cash-strapped Muskegon Heights School District has been reborn. The debt is not gone, but the district is now a charter school, and we found out today that it will be run by an out-of-state company. 24-hour news aide's Danny Carlson has been on top of this story for months. She joins us with what she's learned at today's inaugural meeting of the new charter school board. Danny? Marley and Sue, the new charter system will be run by Mosaica Education, Inc. That's an Atlanta-based company with six other schools in Michigan. And today, as with all stories in Muskegon Heights, the conversation turned to community and school pride. So we asked how the new company plans to deal with that, especially with those massive employee layoffs, more than 150 we first told you about back in May. Everyone at today's first official board meeting shared the same sentiment. Kids first, everything else after that. That's one of the things that we're really going to focus on is the academics and the accountability, making sure that the teachers, the principals, and everybody are held accountable for their actions to make this a success. But who are those teachers that will be held accountable? Mosaica Education, Inc., an Atlanta-based company, will run the new charter school district out of four of the old district's buildings. They plan to hire 125 employees, about 100 100 of those will be teachers. I think the the priority is to get the best qualified teachers for these kids. That is our number one priority. Uh, we're committed to interviewing everyone and actually would love to interview all the teachers who work here as quickly as possible because we have a huge task at hand. We need to hire lots of people. Um, but the final commitment has to be uh, kids first. So in this district where community is such an important thing, we wanted to know how the new board is going to deal with the fact that some of those employees employees just will not be rehired. At the end of the day, we're still a community and it should be about the betterment of the children and making sure that our children are being prepared to be productive citizens. Coming up tonight in our later broadcast, we spoke with a teacher who's now going through the process of reapplying for his old job, a teaching job he held for more than 15 years. We'll share his story tonight at 10 on WXSP and at 11 right here on Channel 8.